Well, I've got an end of summer cold and my throat is scratchy and my voice is slowly going away, but I'm here with some random TTRPG thoughts for the week. Let's roll it. My basic fantasy RPG game is winding down right now. We're going to come to a very nice conclusion, I think. Uh, so if a player misses a session right now, what we're doing is we're switching to Dragonbane, which is going to be the next game we play for a long-form campaign. And I have so much fun running it. So my Monday group is starting up an Eberron 5e campaign. I'm actually sitting this one out. 5e is, it's fine to play, but I actually need to concentrate on making stuff for the Anywhere Door, which is Monty Cook's streaming realm on Moonbeam once it opens up. And I'm really looking forward to coming out with some content for that. I didn't get the sabbatical grant I'd applied for, and to be honest, that's just a gut punch. I was really looking forward to doing some of the cool things that that would afforded me to be able to do. But I'm still hoping to get some time and maybe, just maybe, pick one of the two conventions I was planning to go to. I think that's going to be Game Hole Con. So one table for Ecclesiacon Dave Adventure has filled up, and if you are in the Philly, South Jersey area... Get your badges soon. Buy a ticket. Really, just reserve a ticket. They're free after you buy your badge. It's only $15 in Palmyra, New Jersey on September 28th from 1 to 5 p.m. We are raising money for booksmiles.org. My friend Dave Ward's Ironbound system reached its funding goal in less than six hours, and it has also hit its first stretch goal. I am looking forward to it hitting more and more stretch goals. So please check out that campaign for some modern urban fantasy goodness. I'll have the link in the description below. My live streams come in bunches and next week is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have the aforementioned Dave Ward from Grimwood Games on Monday at 8.30 to talk about the Ironbound Backer Kick campaign. Really looking forward to talking with him about that. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to have Luke Stratton, the author of Pirate Borg, on at noon for my normal skipping lunch slot. Don't miss these. So despite not getting the grant, I'm still going to try to find time to work on my system, which is going to deal with the spirituality of our motivations between two different access poles. Should be kind of interesting, at least I find it so. Uh, right now, I'm pondering using either EZD6 or Cypher system for the base mechanics. Both, I think, would work really, really well. Although, I do think I'm going to have to rework my concept of having a crisis of conscious if I use Cypher system. There's some mechanics I might be able to tweak to use them, and I'm looking forward to exploring how it works out in the next year or so. On September 28th for Ecclesiacon Day of Adventure, I am running my first Shadow Dark Gauntlet. Setting it up right now, and I am having so much fun doing it. Foundry VTT's implementation of Shadow Dark makes creating zero-level characters so easy. It is almost ridiculous. I just wish there was an easy way to export those characters to a PDF. But even with the transcription, it's still going to be pretty fun. I still want to bring Nave 2E to the table pretty soon. I just need to find that most precious of all resources, time. So coming up on the channel, I do have my publishers that I enjoy in the TTRPG space. That's all written up and ready to record. I just need to find time to do it. Going back to school and having all my schedule messed up has been a little bit difficult finding time to do that, but that's going to be the next video on the channel. I also am about a third of the way through writing my review for Dark Places and Demogorgons for Old School Essentials. That'll be coming up after that, and once I do that, I'll be able to finally start reading Pendragon. I'm really looking forward to it. I've read bits and bobs of it at this point, but I'm looking forward to diving way in. And then I got Claim the Sky and I have Rust and Redemption sitting there waiting there on the shelf mocking me. I'm looking forward to getting to all of these, including all the live streams that I have come up as well. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And until we see each other again, happy playing, everyone.